my channel. Today I have a super exciting video. It is another wedding related video. I've had to wait a while to get this up, but as you can tell by the title, this is all about my bridesmaids boxes. So if you don't know what that is, they are boxes that I put together with a little bit of goodies and things to ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. So. I have one box left and that is what I'm going to show you. She is the last person I have to ask. I asked my first few ladies in April and it is now June and my last lady that I'm asking I'm going to visit in Virginia Beach. Long story short, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my bridesmaids boxes just in case you're wondering what they look like and if you need ideas. This will give you plenty of ideas. I'll show you where everything is from, how I did it, and that sort of thing. I'm also gonna do it like two parts because I did my bridesmaids box, but I also made a little booklet for my bridesmaids. So for the booklet, that's gonna be the second half of this video. So on to the box. This is what my box looks like. So it is just like a brown box, it has some flowers, and it has her name on it. So obvious things first. The box I got from Hobby Lobby, this is actually like a photo box. I just like the brown, they had like multiple colors, but I like this, it's like a little bit rustic, like how I want my wedding. So here is the box up close. So for the box, I did the handwriting myself. I like to do calligraphy. I do it kind of like a shortcut way, so I'm not like a professional calligraphy artist. But I did that myself, basically. I kind of looked up the alphabet in calligraphy just to go off of, and then I did it in pencil and traced it over with my calligraphy pen. And then for the flowers, I went to a Hobby Lobby as well and I just picked out two different types of flowers that I liked. This is like a baby's breath and then honestly I'm not sure what this one is but I just picked out a few of those, cut them and I put some twine on here. I already had twine but I know I did get the twine from Hobby Lobby so I wrapped the twine around these. And then I used my hot glue gun to glue it onto the box. Alrighty, when you open the box, it looks like this. So on the inside, it says, will you be my bridesmaid? And again, I did this myself. I um, traced it in pencil first to get an idea of what I liked. And then I went over it with, it was either my calligraphy pen or Sharpie pen you can do either one and then I again used twine I hot glued it to the sides of the box and then I found these little clothes pins let's see if we can focus these little clothes pins I chose white and pink because those are very prominent colors in my wedding and then I printed pictures off of me and Lyra and I went to Walmart to do that and I did like the square cut of them. I just hung the pictures on the clothes pins because I just thought that looked really cute. Um, it showed like lots of memories and it was just like a fun little addition to the box. As for the box itself, this is what it looks like when you open it. I've not done the card yet, but I'm gonna write her name in calligraphy and write her like a heartfelt note inside, just like telling her what I love about her and why it would mean a lot to for her to be my bridesmaid. These you can make yourself, but I actually got it in a calligraphy kit that someone gifted me. So I'm honestly not sure where you can get these, but you can go to any store and find blank cards or you can literally make this yourself. Okay, so when you open the box, this is what it looks like. Just really cute, really fun, nothing too crazy. The first thing that I have in here is this candle. 
So I went to TJ Maxx to find candles because that's where I thought I could find them the cheapest. Not gonna lie, you know, when girls trying to save money, the wedding's already really expensive. Um, I couldn't find any that I loved the scent of, but I loved the color of this. This is one of the prominent colors in my wedding. It is one of my absolute favorite colors. And I knew it was a sign when I could find four of these candles. Everything else there weren't four of. So I found four of these. It is the Sensational White Magnolia Coconut and Beeswax Blend. It's not my favorite scent on earth. It is a pretty good scent though. It's not like horrible, I don't think. But I chose this because of course it is one of my wedding colors and I just think a candle is a really nice gift. These were $3.99, so $4 each. So four times four is 16. So I spent about 16 on the candles. The next thing I also got at TJ Maxx, but I did DIY it a little bit. I really wanted a nail polish, but nail polish is so expensive. But as I was checking out for my candles at TJ Maxx, I came across this OPI nail polish. I know OPI is a really good brand and I loved this color. Again, it's one of the prominent colors in my wedding. To top it off, the name of this nail polish is Mimosas for Mr. and Mrs. So very wedding related. But to make it a little bit more fun, I turned the nail polish into a bride. I made a little veil for her. So what I did for this was I found some tool, I think, um, at Walmart actually. And then I found some gemstones, a pack of this, also at Walmart. And basically just hot glued it on how I liked. I kind of like folded it. I don't know how to explain it. I should have showed you guys. But there are tutorials, I think, on YouTube. But basically I just hot glued it onto the top and I thought that would just added like a fun little touch to the box. The next thing that I added to my box was some rosé, mostly because it is that pink color so it looks really nice in the box, but if my girls like rosé I thought that this was just a really nice little touch to the box. Of course for my little sister, <laughs> she can't have wine. But for my little sister, I added some lemonade. I'll like insert a picture right here of what I did for hers. But I got this at Target. I don't think these were too expensive, but they're just little miniature bottles of rosé. The last thing that I added to the box was a little succulent. Plants are really special to me, number one. But number two, it again is my favorite color, which is a very prominent color in my wedding. So I wanted to add some more greenery to the box. And I just thought these were a cute touch. These are things that um, the girls can use in their house if they want. They're pretty hard to kill, although my little sister did kill hers. But it is a real succulent. You could go another route and do a fake succulent. I couldn't find any for some reason, but I decided to do a real succulent. As far as this like crinkle paper goes, I found really small bags at Walmart for a dollar. I picked a few of those up, they weren't very big. And then the others I found at Hobby Lobby, much bigger, more expensive, but it did the job. So that is that. Now we're gonna show you how to make the little booklets for my bridesmaids. I'm gonna talk you through them, what I did. Let's cut to the booklets, kids. <laughs> okay guys, so instead of walking you guys through how to do this and showing you guys how I did this, I'm just gonna show you what I did and what I used. So for the paper that I used for my little booklet for my bridesmaids, I just used some scrapbook paper. Um, it's like a booklet of like, little scrapbook paper, I folded them in half and cut them. And as for this, I wrote everything out in pencil and then I went over it with my calligraphy pen. So on the front page, I just wrote details, the date of my wedding, and then the exact location of my wedding, just so they know. On the second page, I did your roll, just saying, you know, fun little stuff, wipe away my tears, you know. Y'all can see right here. Third page, I did my ladies just so they knew exactly who was going to be in the wedding party. So they could get a little idea of who they're going to be up there with. 
And then the last page I did was the colors of my wedding. Again, just so they can get more of a feel for my wedding. For this, I literally went to, I think, Home Depot and I got some paint samples. Um, I got a bunch of different ones of colors that I liked. I picked out four and cut them out and I hot glued them on here. And then I just took some twine. You guys know I use twine for literally everything. And then I have a hole punch and I just punched a hole in all of them and tied them together with some twine. It's actually really simple. It's just so simple. I didn't feel the need to sit down and show you guys step for step what I did because it really is that simple. Alrighty, so that is all for my actual boxes. It honestly doesn't take a lot to make an awesome box. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You can personalize it however you want, get creative, you know, do things that are special to you. Do whatever you like and just know that you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can go to the Dollar Tree and find some really great stuff to make a cute box and really it's not about the contents of the box. It's about that special moment and having that person stand up there with you for your very special day. So that is all for the box portion of this video.